I'm Lisa Evers, and this is Street Soldiers. Fox 5 and Hot 97 present Street Soldiers with Lisa Evers. A lot of people think if they were just rich and famous, all their problems would be over. But as we're seeing with some huge superstars, life in the limelight isn't all it's cracked up to be. Kanye West's recent hospitalization for exhaustion came as no surprise to those who've been concerned about his onstage rants and erratic behavior for some time. The terrifying armed robbery of his wife Kim in Paris may have been too much. It's a cautionary tale for emerging superstars like Jadena. I was sleeping on the floor with the open door open while I dreamt about the places I would go. We would go door to door to door all day. It's difficult to, to when you have billions or millions of people thinking about you, either hating or loving you. Relationships can easily melt down under the hot, harsh celebrity spotlight. Not long after Mariah Carey's engagement to Australian billionaire James Packer ended, she was seen kissing her backup dancer on a Hawaiian beach. One of rap and reality TV's most loved and wildly popular couples, Papoose and Remy Ma, have their own formula for keeping their marriage on track. Anytime you let any outsider in, whether it's you know someone that you do know or that you don't know, it's a recipe for <laughs> catastrophes. I love her to death, so it comes from the heart, you know. You just have to be well disciplined and, you know, be true to the person that you're with. The 24-7 work grind to make it to the top can take a toll, too. Grammy-nominated R&B singer Kalani ended up in the hospital last spring during a low point just as her career was exploding. So were nasty social media comments about her love life. Now she's looking for simpler pleasures. I've been working during the holidays for the past I don't know how long, so I'm really excited to finally go spend time with my mom. Concentrating on your career can be tough when the world is buzzing about your marriage, even for a multi-platinum, multi-Grammy winning rapper like T.I. His reality TV co-star and wife Tiny's dance moves with Floyd Mayweather set off a social media tsunami. But T.I., ever the professional, is staying focused on his fans. He told me he still regards fame as a gift. It's a blessing. We just continue to try to push the envelope and, you know, use our platform to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. Many celebrities complain about the lack of boundaries, especially when it comes to their families and their most personal moments. Let's take it to our panel and find out what they have to say. Joining us, Sky Landish. She's a fitness trainer, and she's also one of the breakout stars of Love and Hip Hop, and she's also Drewski's Everything, <laughs> co-star yeah. on the show, a girlfriend and assistant. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Lisa, for having me. We really appreciate it. Also with us is the one and only Drewski. You know him from Hot 97. He's on pretty much seven days a week in one time slot or another, killing it on Hot 97. He's the star of Love and Hip Hop New York, and he's also host of a new show on Vivo online. Drewski, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me back at home. Great to have you back with us. We really appreciate it. Also joining us is Shamika Sanders. She is the Hello Beautiful entertainment editor and host. She interviews many celebrities on and off the red carpets at some of the premier events, not just in hip hop, but also in the entire entertainment industry. Shamika, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate it. Let me, Shamika, I want to start with you on this. What do you think are some of the biggest misconceptions conceptions that people have about being famous. I think you started out by naming them pretty accurately. People think that once you get rich and once you get famous, your life is just just better. Uh, but as we've seen with a lot of celebrities, like you named Kanye West, who recently had a mental breakdown, allegedly, you know, we don't know what's going on. When he reportedly. Gets, reportedly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, issues, some kind of issues. There are some issues going on, and it's evident that it's not as glamorous as it looks. I mean, you know, the biggie line, more money, more problems. So Going back that way. Exactly. Drewski, what about for you? Because, I mean, you're well known as a, as a DJ for Hot 97. You've done right. TV appearances. You've been out there. But then this, did love and hip hop, being a star on that, take it to a whole nother level? Yeah, I think being on TV was a whole different light than just being on radio. And not only was I doing it for myself, but now I'm on TV with my girlfriend, my significant other, and now our business is out there. So, you know, a lot of people, like you said, I, oh, I want to be on TV. But a lot changes when you're on TV. And I was telling her, I'm like, what a regular relationship takes seven years to build we had to build in like one year for trust and loyalty and communication. 
And I think like there's a lot of pressure that goes into that. It's like forcing a seven year relationship into one year, you're gonna go through a lot and it's not as fun or loving as you you would think it is. Hi. Sky, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people would think, okay, you know, they're they can get in your business. Do you find mm -hmm. they feel like they can get in your business now because they see you on TV? Well, you put it out there for people to have an opinion. So now it's out there for social media. It's out there for everybody to see. Everybody has an opinion, and the way social media works is you can voice that opinion on your platform, right? So you see everybody's platform and their voice being like, you know, they 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 say what they want to say for the most part, and you can't control that. So you have to take it in stride and figure out how to just block out anybody with negative attitudes or, you know, personalities for the most part. And what have been some of the like some of the hurtful, more hurtful comments that you've had or they, that have surprised you? Has there been stuff that's yeah. like kind of you're like, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, of course. A lot of it, they'll play on race. Yes. You know, they'll say, Thank like, you. why is she dealing with a white man and, and stuff like that? And it's like, yo, if love has no color. Like if we and love it's 2016. each other, right? And it's 2016. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of it is like race-related stuff. Um, they'll even come for like her natural hair or her which natural is, looks, which is like crazy because you know you. It takes a, a bold person to be on screen with natural, right. with a natural hairstyle. You know what I'm saying? So which it's looks like, gorgeous. Thank by the you, way. thank you. But mm -hmm. it's like you know, it's almost offensive because you're you're coming for my natural state of being. It's like weird. Anyway. What, what about in ter in terms of like your relationship? Like some of the comments that they've made. Oh, Drewski's a player. Oh Drewski's yeah. This it's so it it goes on like, for days. Even the blogs have broken us up already you know what i'm saying like <laughs> the show's been on for two weeks and we're and there's headlines that drewski breaks up with his girlfriend to start dating another cast member on the show and she actually was there on a the red carpet yeah. where the story was created you could tell us what happened yeah, um, you're there VH on the red you're there on the red there, carpet okay. uh, the vh1 divas red carpet on yeah. silent night just last week it last was, week. Yeah, it was, it was last, like last week last um and dj drewski was on the carpet with mariah lynn i but who's been on street soldiers with who, us Right. Shout out to Mariah Lynn, uh, who was very nice on the carpet. Um, I saw them and I immediately thought my common sense kicked in and said VH1 probably paired them to walk down the, right. mm -hmm. you know, the carpet together. But there's also such things as news days and we need news and those salacious headlines that you know Drewski's talking about on the blogs, those get the clicks, um, especially the blog he's talking about, which you know we're not naming. But uh, those salacious headlines get the clicks and and people who watch love and hip-hop like you were talking about your natural hair mm -hmm. people buy into this lifestyle and like even with right. love and hip-hop Hollywood is so glam mm -hmm. and we like to think of our celebrities as aspirational and things that we don't have so I think when people see your natural hair they're like oh well she looks like me yeah which is weird it's, it's <laughs> weird it's but so then weird. do they go like okay maybe I could rock that no but, but they're looking at the they person don't... next to her and they're like I want to be glam because it's that aspirational factor that keeps us watching these shows like the Kardashians but then it's confusing because you're watching something you consider reality television. So is it realistic for you to be 100% glam and 100% full faced all the time? That's not realistic. Well, that, but then does the does the public, do the viewers, will they accept women without makeup, without the eyelashes, without their hair all done? Will they accept that? Well, then that's the test. It's like, do you accept yourself? All right. Yeah, but not everyone's as <laughs> yeah, but Sky, not everyone's as beautiful as you are. I mean, you but, do but have you should feel I mean, you could be out there with no makeup no, on and I still mean, look like knockout. I feel like at a certain point. point in time I was I was seven sizes heavier than I was. You know what I'm saying? So I never felt like I wasn't beautiful. I felt like I could be better. You seven know? sizes bigger than you are now? Yeah. I Is felt, that what got you in the fitness yes, thing? Yes. So I lost Whoa. sixty plus pounds. So it's it's you know, I was there. I understand what, what they mean, but at the same time, I'm not. A, I was never offended by my beauty. I always thought I was beautiful. I just felt like I could be better. Yeah. So, so you you try to get better with time. Right. So it wasn't a thing of like you felt insecure in no, any kind of way. No, I never felt insecure. I just felt like if I can be the best I can be, I want to be that. Right. And everybody does. But in, ter in terms of how pe people get very fixated, though, Shamika, on yes. these characters mm -hmm. I, I know, who like, are real people yeah. living real lives. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's also the aspect of reality TV that no one actually believes that it's so real versus like 
you know, we always watch these shows and we're like, people in these situations that happened, we're like, is this real? We're teeter tottering on, you and, know. And then in the New Jersey Housewives, we see we see her go, Teresa go right off to uh, federal prison. Exactly. That was very that, real. That was right. very, That's real. very real. So I think in our minds, we toy with the notion like, how real is this versus how glam or fabricated is all of this? And I think that you represent a real mm -hmm. aspect of it because you did make a conscious decision to go on there without makeup exactly. and natural hair. But natural hair is really big right now in the first place. So I'm interested. Yeah. You also have like really great things. No, <laughs> like hair. Like you said, I, I call it pretty privilege. We all have certain privileges that we have. So I think about Alicia Keys's uh, makeup movement too. Mm -hmm. Right. And there's a lot of discussion about that because it's like, well, Alicia Keys is inherently pretty or you know mainstream. Stunning. Stunning. Yeah. Right. So is it does it have the same effect as a girl who is watching who you know needs her makeup? Child, if I take these eyebrows off, you know, it's, it's a different story. You right. Know? So exactly. Makeup and things like that play into this fixation on celebrity yeah, exactly and, and I think whoever invented makeup you know they deserve some kind of award personally <laughs> that's my own thing <laughs> this is Hot 97 Street Soldiers I'm your host Lisa Evers we'll be back right after this let's talk about how real is the reality let's talk about how real is the reality because that's an issue that a lot of people feel like when you explain right. Dusky for you you know like how is it with, when you're actually filming the but show a, a lot of people think the storylines are made up but it's it's our real life experiences so they don't understand that we relive it maybe three four times you know throughout the season where it actually happened right now we recreate it and kind of show it film it and now we got to watch it back months later. So we're living it three, four times and, and the pressure on us. And now we're going home and there's things like maybe she didn't know I did or she didn't see. And she's like, wow. You know, and I think it, it really affects the relationship. And that's why we choose to be very, like, communicative. Like, we got to really communicate with one another and be honest. Like, yo, you weren't here for this scene, but this is what happened. So when you see it, six months from now just be aware and don't take offense to it i think also him telling me is not the way it's cut so that too the third time you live it you don't even know how they're going to cut it um and that that plays a big role into how we communicate so if they cut it a certain way i'm looking at him like right you said that he's like no 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 no. i didn't say it like that they meshed it together blah, blah, blah. but you know you have to take it and figure out how to make it work for you so i think it's constant teamwork what was it like for you sky seeing yourself the first time like the for the first <laughs> episode were you just sitting there going like <laughs> or, or did you go like okay I, it's cool i think I've, I've been cool throughout the process for the most part but um seeing myself for the first time was probably overwhelming i was very overwhelmed i took a seat and i just watched and i was quiet pretty much the whole episode because i didn't know what what to do i was like wow that's me on tv you hear yourself talking you hear the way you carry yourself you see the way you walk like it's just a whole different beast but emotionally what was going through you emotionally i thought life is going to change now I, I was like, life is different now. It's going to be very it's, different. It's 100% different now. Like what different, and what differences have you seen in your daily life? And you have your business, your I, fitness yeah, trainer. So, um, you, have, you have your actual real business. Right. Yes, Strip and Fitness. It's, it's our fitness company that, that we, we do fitness parties um, for women who really want to strip down fitness and figure out how to get fit, you know, figure out how to lose weight like I did. So um, that has been a great a great opportunity on social media because girls are contacting me they want to come to the party so it's great on that in that end but then you have other women who aren't team sky that feel as though you know drewski isn't doing what he has to do for me and they have that like you're not well. supposed to work and have your right, own career right, right. exactly what, what era, i mean what era are these people do they know. just crawl out of a cave it's, somewhere it's, with know, the dinosaurs and, i mean you have to it's, pick and choose what to respond to yeah exactly and just the every day like walking through a mall or going going to you know you might catch the flu and you gotta go to an emergency room but now the doctor and the security <laughs> guard they all know you they want to take pictures right. and you're like can and I just like, get some <laughs> antibiotics yeah, right. you go to the <laughs> ER and they're trying to take a picture and like, I'm shot here <laughs> and, it's, and it's people of all ages and races like one we're in a hot dog place mm -hmm. and the mom the daughter and the son all want to take pictures so it's like yeah. the whole family that's kind of cool though no the whole family's watching was beautiful like i was like yeah. wow not if you're hungry that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> no but we we love the love like we appreciate it but you know for her not being in the spotlight and then automatically being thrown in 
it's a big change and it's hard adjustment and it, there was times where even in, in at home where we argued and had f arguments and i'm now sleeping on the couch mm -hmm for two days because I was upset by the way she reacted to a situation on, on camera. Screen. Like you you know, you let you let them get that best of you and I'm upset with you. So now we're arguing at home and you know, it, it's it real. Takes a toll. It's real. It takes a toll on your relationship. So you guys have a lot you have to constantly talk about. Of course. Oh, we, yes. we talk all day long. We're together all day long, talking all day long. Right. Showing each other's phone like each other our phones all day long. At the same time trying to stay productive and keep our businesses running as well as our relationship. Right, and keep doing keep doing your, your real career as well right. as your career as a yeah. reality right. TV star. Can you get addicted to fame? Um, yes. I think it's addicted to attention. I don't know if it's the fame part, but, you know, she loves her Twitter now. From someone who was never on Twitter. I, I actually started my Twitter, I think, in June. Right. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even have Twitter. Um, and now everybody's adding me and having opinions, so now I feel like I have to respond sometimes, at times. But most times. Most times. <laughs> because I have a voice, too, and I don't, wanna, I don't want people to think I don't. It's just that you can't respond to everything. And, you know, it's shown me that it, you definitely can get addicted. We have to put our phone down at times. Right, because once you start responding, it's like all oh, of a sudden you look up and an hour's gone, and you just wait a minute. What happened here with this? What, uh, Drewski? What about you? Because you, you've been out there, you've been very active yeah. on social media for a long time as a DJ, as one of the hottest DJs right. out there. I, I just love the energy. I like the the love part is what gets me going and what keeps me going. So when people are asking to take pictures, are asking about my story, or asking just for advice, like. That's what gets me going. So I don't mind it. I'm actually into like the attention part of it or the fame part because I've been through stuff and I could help others if they just watch. So that part is what keeps me going. Um, when they get too personal and in my business is what I don't like, but I know it comes with the territory. So I can understand why someone like Kanye West, who's on a super high level, could break down. Like it's really mm -hmm. a lot of pressure. And now you have your wife and your children, and, and it's just nonstop. And then it gets the family. You know, you, now your your immediate family, who you felt you can trust or understand you, starts to not understand. Right, you. the whole thing. Shimi, what what about Kanye? Because as an artist, you know, he always had a reputation being high maintenance, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. genius. And yes. but as an artist too, the artist lifestyle. You're out there when you're promoting an album or yeah. a project and touring. And then you're back in the studio, you're writing, you're creating, and you're kind of like away from the world. Yeah. Do you think that this pressure of being involved with the Kardashians and then he's in the reality TV v show and it's like yeah. a nonstop circus? Um, well, Did something I, to him? I, I imagine it's like a nonstop circus. Mm -hmm. But I also think about Kanye West. So there's like twofold with Kanye West. We love him because he gave us like the great music. Right. He was like a voice to the people who didn't have a voice before. But then he's also now we're watching him go left <laughs> and when you start talking about trump and coming for beyonce we woof, all right we need to, to take right. we need to take a breather time but, out <laughs> time out uh but kanye i feel like he is dealing with a lot uh black men and mental illness is a big thing too mm -hmm. so as well as his going the topic through, of about several of our shows uh, yes mm -hmm. exactly so uh, as well as him being a celebrity there is the aspect that as a black man he has a lot of other issues in our and mental health and issues like that in the black community are rampant and people don't talk about them because there are stigmas attached to it. Kanye lost his mother years ago in such a traumatic way. Mm -hmm. And to think about that, that's a lifestyle change because I feel like as people, we all want to grow up and buy our parents a house. Right. We want to, you know, we want to, we have all these oh. dreams. Right. And then especially suddenly, a son for his mother, especially a son for his mother. Yeah. And they grew up very tight very close she was a professor she taught him a lot that he knows so i imagine that he i feel like he's suffering from ptsd mm -hmm. like I that never 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 really he got never over recovered. that I want to thank all of right. you for being part of this amazing uh, panel. Sky Landish, the one and only Drewski, and yes. Shamika Sanders, thank you all so very much for being with us for this episode of Street Soldiers. We're definitely going to be checking out Hello Beautiful. Yes. Definitely going to be checking out Love and Hip Hop, Love and Hip -Hop New York. on Mondays. 8 p.m. Mondays. And you may be getting some text from me, uh, you guys yeah. right after that. Don't well, judge us. Uh, I'm don't not judge us. I don't want to be judged okay. either, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Even though you didn't play my record. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for being part
part of the show. Thank you. Um, I'm Lisa Evers. Thank you for joining us. Remember, use your mind. It's your best weapon. I hope it's your only weapon. Let's push for peace.